I've had the Neptune 4 for a little over a week. Let's get into it. First, I'd like to point out that it has 36 points of auto level. And if you look at the screen here, it even shows you how far the Z offset is. And I actually did pretty good in the middle. And uh, another great feature is that this thing is magnetic. And in the video before I clipped it out, I actually dropped it on the floor. Anyway, let's navigate through the menu. As you can see, you have your temp, extrude, and all that other stuff. You have your print files. It can access folders, which is nice. Your settings it has fan control, motor off, and your fan actually, it's really loud. It kind of sounds like my leaf blower. So you might be able to blow off your lawn with this machine. It's got two lights. This was an unexpected feature. When I received this, I was very excited because I thought I could get some very dramatic lighting. And it's at the top. It's a little scary when you're trying to hold it up. The observation light, I don't use it. I don't see a point to have a light on my print at all times. And uh, it has a really nice uh, little sticker on the left side that you can see here and this just goes over what it is build plate size and all that another great feature is the backlight feature you can turn down the screen brightness now let's get started and start a benchy now i'd like to say that it claims it can print at 500 millimeters a second now this may be true however it's not true 100 percent of the time Usually it's printing around 250 millimeters a second to 300 and it varies and it varies because of the infill settings obviously. You have corner speeds, you have infill speeds, you have shell speeds. It all just varies. But let's take a look at the machine. I would say it's made out of premium materials. However, the leveling of the base is terrible. That corner has never been level. And the runout sensor is not the best. I've ran out of filament a few times. It has not sensed it. And I believe the do cause is this cord right here does not sit well in its port. And comes out very easily. One time it was connected and the filament ran straight through it and it did not even stop my print. One thing I'd like to point out is it can hold two rolls if you have another handle, which is awesome. And a great thing is, is it has multiple spots for connection, a micro SD card, USB port, and there's another one in the middle, and I believe that is to hook up to your computer. Some other features this machine offers while you're printing is you can go to settings, and then you can adjust it from their menu. The speed can be increased by by one five and ten increments however i don't like how there's not a typing option on here and uh, the z offset this is very nice i like to change it while i'm printing i like to have it a little bit lower on my initial layer and then change it if i'm there and another thing i'd like to show is the rate that it heats up i believe it heats up under three minutes the bed even heats up very fast as you can see the bed actually heated up before the nozzle could and uh, let's look at the print now i've had some issues with over extrusion now i don't really know how to properly calibrate that yet i am working on that but under here you can see there's a little stringing going on and uh, Recently, I've been having to slow this printer down with the initial bed because it will lay too much filament. And another cool thing is, if you peek there, I have my machine signed by Mandic Really. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And that was how I actually got this early. Now let's take a look at print quality. This thing can print at a layer height of 0.12, which is very impressive. So you get very detailed prints like this Optimus Primal. Look at all those details. Another thing is, it prints crystal dragons and cinder wings designs very beautifully and very quick. Now I'm only pointing this out because her dragons are very famous and well known. These dragons, you should take my Ender like 24 hours to print. On the Neptune 4, it printed this in seven hours and that is fast, especially for a bed slinger. And it's printing filament very well. Now let's just take an overview of this printer in all its glory. After a month of owning it, 
I would say it's way better than I thought it would ever be. There's minimal wear and tear. There's a little bit on the wheels. Everything is in pristine condition. So the question is, should you buy this printer for $250? I think yes. I think you should sell your Enders, sell all your other bed slingers, and get the Neptune 4. For the price, it is unbeatable, and it rocks.